probably the world's number one Pokemon collection inside this case. Bull figures? Cards, and they're all Charizards. <laughs> which is the number one Pokemon guy. Okay, hold, hold on one second here. Yes. Chump. Yeah? This guy's got Pokemon cards. Big. It's not Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Okay. I'm here to sell my Pokemon collection. I got into Pokemon collecting with my sons, and eventually they grew up and went to college, and I never did grow up. So I continued with Pokemon for the last 17 years. This is pretty cool, man. Absolutely. So, Rick, you don't know about Pokemon? It's just like a game like eight-year-old kids play, right? Basically, each player has a deck of 60 cards, and you battle with your Pokemon by pulling cards out of your deck and getting enough energy points so that you can attack your other player. You can win by your opponent not having any Pokemon left. It's really popular. They have whole tournaments with where a thousand people enter and they have Pokemon battles. Okay. I really don't understand why Pokemon is such a big deal, but if something like a Beanie Baby can become worth a lot of money, maybe these can too. I just need to know a lot more. They're pretty cool. Actually, some of them can be worth a lot of money. So these go for a lot of money? Yes. What's your most expensive one? Uh, the most expensive card is probably the Pristine 10 First Edition Base Charizard.